Check this out. High school students interested in science, technology, engineering, and math. It is the first robotics competition. And one Metro Detroit team, a local team, is the best in the country. We gotta brag about this. Joining me now are members of the championship team from Plymouth Canton Educational Park. And team president Allison Hurley is here. Uh, fabrication leader Tyler Harris and design group leader Abby Morningstar. Thank you guys for joining me today. And I wanna talk a lot about what this is and, and, and just first kind of give me a little bit of background about FIRST Robotics, please. Yeah, so FIRST Robotics stands for for inspiration and recognition in science and technology. And it's just an opportunity that students get in high school to put engineering into like a competition setting, kind of like a sports team. So we have six weeks to build our robot and then we go to competitions in Michigan and then around the world if we do really well. Like and Tyler, what was the game that you competed in? Uh, this year's game was first Steamworks, and so you could do three things. You could run gears back and forth, you could shoot uh, these six inch wiffle balls, and you could climb the rope. Wow, and, and, and Abby, how did you build this robot? How, how did this all come together? Well, our team is composed of like seven different subgroups. So we have a design, fabrication, programming, and electrical that does the building of the robot, as well as marketing and awards that make like the awards and like the PR for our team. Okay. And then scouting and strategy also chooses kind of what robots would be best to align with. What, what, Allison, what kind of opportunities do you get doing this this type of competition, this, this contest? Yeah, so pretty much FIRST offers tons of opportunities with scholarships, internships, co-ops in the future. All three of us are seniors and I think all of us have opportunities coming up this summer Absolutely. and scholarships for college, which is really awesome too. And, and, and going on beyond high school, how, how does this prepare you? What, what are some of the things you learned from doing this? I've learned how to work as a the team how to learn on the job instead of just in a classroom setting. It really forces you to innovate and be creative. Okay, so now for the fun part, uh, how does this, Tyler, do you want to show us or is Vivian going to show us? How, how does this all work? All right, so um, do you want to demo it? Yeah, let's let's yeah. see it. Is it. Okay, uh, well, it's not connecting. Apparently. Oh, it's not connecting. Okay, <laughs> all right. Hey, you know well, what? Things happen. So how long, I have to ask, how long did this take to construct and how many people had to work on it? So we get six weeks and that goes from we get the game to have this finished product. So that's prototyping, designing, building, programming, wiring. All of it's done in six weeks. And this contest, this is a national championship. Where, where did you go? Oh, uh, we went to St. Louis and we competed against, uh, there's what? I think there's 3,700 or something wow. teams. Yeah, it's wow. crazy. Well, we'll certainly be sharing some of these images of, of this on Facebook, and maybe you can give us a little bit of a demonstration on our Facebook page yeah. too, so we, yeah. can, we can show <laughs> folks. Anything else, anything surprise you about this process, or what did you, that you learned along the way? I think we learned that working as a team is really important, and you don't make it this far without good teamwork and communication skills, so. Yeah, fantastic. I can. I'm not a robotics expert, but I, I, it looks like it, lo it looks very elaborate. So, so, the, so there's gears in there, and and uh, show us how does it, how does this how does this tie in here? All right, so there's that, these right here actually will drop down. Okay. And so it would load in. Okay. And so we have our robot that goes 17 feet per second. So it goes down the field really fast, and we just deliver this gear to an airship. Once you get enough rotors onto the airship, you start spinning them up for more and more points. Fantastic. Well, congratulations to you guys on the victory, and uh, we'll, we'll be sharing more of this on Facebook, and we'll send it to the break now. See you in a few.